go out to the beach, make sure that you do not get in the ocean. We're dealing with yet again another strong rip current risk this going from Jacksonville all the way down into Miami. So please keep that in mind if you're headed to the beaches. Our temperatures, though, are amazing. We are in November and the temperatures are in the upper 70s, low 80s. The rest of the country has got to be jealous of us. Look at these winds I talked about coming from the east, northeast. Breezy indeed, but not too bad for us. Now take a look as we have the cold front moving through the area tonight and also into tomorrow. We will have some sprinkles of rain from southeast Georgia, Florida, Georgia border, all the way down into some of our southern counties. Cloud coverage will move in. We'll have more rain as well. Rounds of it as we get into the first day of the work week. But the thing about it is this rain will not be a washout. So don't cancel any of your plans. Just know that you're going to need an umbrella for tomorrow and also for Monday. Taking a look at the accumulation, as I mentioned before, along the coast, it'll be about a tenth of an inch of rain. But look for our inland counties just west of I-95. And also for our counties in southeast Georgia, the accumulation is a hundred of an an inch so most of you probably won't even be impacted by it but as we track the tropics again we do have a disturbance with a 70 to 80 percent chance this is in the Caribbean Sea near the Gulf likely will move north up into the Gulf and then have an impact in areas right now models showing somewhere within the southeast along the Gulf states this system will likely die out though it is currently at a 10 10 uh, 10 percent over the next 48 hours 10 percent over the next seven days but I want to show you the steering for these two systems so first of all let's take a look here this is the one that has a 70 to 80 percent chance the other one dissipates as it gets past the greater antilles so likely the system with the 70 80 percent chance will continue moving up through the gulf area right now it's showing that it would make landfall somewhere between louisiana and mississippi and then shift further east into the area of alabama and georgia but not really impacting Florida. And it would shift because of a cold front that's also moving through the area. So right now, it doesn't look like we would be impacted by a storm, but there's a 70 to 80% chance that it will develop. Tonight, temperatures will be in the low 70s, upper 60s across the board from Southeast Georgia to Northeast Florida. And though we'll have some sprinkles tomorrow, we're back in the 80s for majority of us, if not the upper 70s. It's gonna be beautiful yet again tomorrow. Here's a look at my seven day forecast. Folks, it's a beautiful one, despite the fact that we're going to have some rain chances off and on throughout the week. 20% chance tomorrow, Monday, 40% chance. We get a dry out day on Tuesday. Rain chances occur again Wednesday through Friday. Friday through Saturday is when we'll likely start hearing about that storm moving through the Gulf and impacting some of the Gulf states.